you know what? I, st I stop watching them. I don't want to watch them anymore. This is not this is not Barcelona for me. This is not. This is a team that has too many good players to play so badly. And I and I for me the reason is Valverde. He's not the right coach for this club. He doesn't have any of Barcelona DNA in his in, in him. I, I I keep saying that every week we talk about Barcelona because it's every week is the same. I can't remember one good collective performance in a game. It was either Messi by himself or a couple of brilliant moments from whoever else. But collectively, this team is dreadful this season. And for me, it's mostly the, the fault of Valverde. Mm. He, he started Suarez, Messi, Griezmann and Dembele together. Sure. Yeah. Let, let, me guys, let me go straight. It came as a surprise to Valverde that a team bottom of the table sat back and defended <laughs> against Barcelona, who are top. He also said they passed a big test by, right, listen, by finding I, a way past them. I, I, I'm, I'm with Julian on this. Valverde has, has run out of excuses, run out of explanations. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure what else he's relying on. We're at a stage now with this Barcelona team that un unless we are marveling at Lionel Messi doing something magical yet again, this performance is not what you've come to expect of, of Barcelona mm. uh, for, for, for quite some time. And I, I, Valverde might be in denial, but I, I'm not quite sure who he's fooling with it mm. or who else he's fooling. Big week for them. Got Dortmund at home. Uh, yeah. Dortmund are a team who uh, are struggling at the moment. They... Should have lost to Paderborn, her bottom of the Bundesliga at the weekend. How they came back is beyond me. They got battered by Bayern uh, in the game before. They travel to the camp now. Yep. Uh, and if Barcelona were to lose that and Inter were to win, their qualification from uh, this Champions League group is not guaranteed. And that could be the crux of the whole thing for Valverde. Mm. That could be the icing on the cake. So uh, he can pad over these performances all he wants. Uh, but I agree with what the boys have been saying. Mm. Uh, they're not clicking. They're not a well-oiled unit. And I, I personally don't think he's going to see the next three or four months out, barring a big change of fortunes. Uh, Jules, any way you see that happening? Can they get? Can Dortmund get a result at the new camp? I mean, with this Dortmund team, you just don't, you just don't know. In the in the in the return fixture, the f in in, ma in match day one of the Champions League, they were all over Barcelona. Ter Stegen saved the penalty from Marco Rose and made like two, or three, four uh, more amazing saves to keep that that, that score at nil nil. Otherwise, ba Dortmund could have easily won three nil. So they have, I think, they have the players and the potential and even the way they play to go there and and, and have a result. However, if they play like the first half an hour against Paderborn on Friday night, like Craig was, was talking about, there, there's no way they can win that game. However, they have the potential to do it. Favre is certainly a better tactician, although he's struggling at the moment, but a better tactician for me than Valverde for that kind of games. I think it would be a fascinating match because whoever loses that game, if, 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 if there's a winner, I think the losing side, the manager could get sacked. <sighs> Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.